So today, we're going to continue with the WAN 2.2 image to video, with some testing result. There's something else we can play around with in the WAN 2.2 image to video. I've discovered that you can actually use multiple frames for the first last frames to video method. And we can generate pretty long videos with WAN 2.2. But there are some limitations. Like, if the video gets too long using the image to video method, it starts to degrade after a certain number of seconds. There's also some interesting stuff happening with the first and last frame image generations, especially when you use travel prompts for different durations across a longer video. Here's another example I did with a similar image, but this time using the WAN 2.1 vase. You'll notice the transitions between each 5 second segment are smoother, but there are some drawbacks, like prompt adherence isn't as strong as in WAN 2.2. And as you can see, when I change the prompt from guy to demon, that's exactly what shows up throughout my travel prompts in this recent workflow. We can also play around with existing videos, like this one we always use for demo purposes. We take a few frames from the beginning and turn them into something else, like this. And then, that guy isn't going to look the same as he does in the original demo video, so let's take a look at this first. Here, we've got a very simple basic first last frames to video node. I just connected the start image. For the start image, I took four frames from this footage. Throughout the video, I pulled these four image frames and fed them in here. Then we continue the video generation. What you're seeing now is that the generated video looks just like those first four frames, and then it starts transitioning into AI generated content in the last few seconds. So, this is proof of concept. It can take multiple image frames as the start image, and we don't even need to connect an end image. That got me thinking, what if we could do something like what I did before with WAN 2.1 for long video generation? Just a month ago, I used the WAN 2.1 vase with a for loop, feeding multiple samplers into different sampling time frames across the total video length. This workflow uses the image to video method with the WAN 2.1 vase. It's been recently updated, and I've included both the video and the image options. Both can act as start frames now. We've also got travel prompts here, so each new line of text becomes a new instruction at the start of each looping sampling step. So I created a similar setup for WAN 2.2 using the same long video gen concept with a for loop. After the first 5 seconds, or maybe 3 seconds, we keep extending the video length by generating in these looping video chunks. That's why you saw the guy doing some funky dancing, then turning into a demon, then turning back into a guy, and keeping up that funky dance move, all using travel prompts. So this is the first sampler's prompt. And then the looping prompts. You can use each new line as a travel prompt. Let's say I set it for 15 seconds and I split each chunk into 129 frames. That means each sampler generates about 5 seconds. So we've got three text prompts. The first one goes to the first loop, the first sampler. I called part 1. In the travel prompts, we've got two new lines of text. You can write more detailed prompts if you want. Just for demo purposes, I kept it simple so it's easier for most people to understand. But technically, it works with WAN 2.2 this way, even when I'm using a load video method. This approach acts like the original video extension using this workflow. Let's say I check the overlap frames box. That's the number of frames you want to overlap for your extension. I set it to 6, but you can use 8 or 10. The same number goes into the initial load video. It'll take 6 frames from there, then start extending using the sampler frames from part 1 and the loop, adding another 15 seconds in my case, creating the video I just showed. As you can see, with WAN 2.2, just using the image to video generation model, it starts to degrade after about 15 seconds. No matter what tweaks or modifications I try, it still happens. So I'd say the best extension length is under 15 seconds. I even wrote that down in the notes. Recommended seconds, under 15. Go over 20 and things start getting weird. For example, at the 15 second mark, it still looks normal. But once the video goes past 15 seconds, you start seeing color degradation. The character's motion gets weird too. Can't produce smooth, natural movement. And look, this guy suddenly pops out of the water. It doesn't look clear like in the first few seconds. 
this part here looks way better than the end of that long video. At 29 seconds in, you can see the water is degraded, the leaves look cartoonish, the character's color saturation gets worse, so after testing these pushing the limits of this model, WAN 2.2, we figured out what it can and can't do. This is what I've come up with. The WAN 2.2 first last frame method? Honestly, I think it's just a temporary fix for video extensions. Once the official vase for WAN 2.2 is released, it should give us smooth transitions and smooth continuity, like what I had with WAN 2.1. Here's the WAN 2.1 version I did. It has consistency limitations for the face because of WAN 2.1, but you can still see the stitching between each 5 second segment is way better than what we get with WAN 2.2 first last frames. That's because this uses the WAN 2.1 vase with masking and conditioning for control video. Those features really help with long video extensions. You see that from 5 to 6 seconds, there's no flickering, no choppiness, no sudden jumps. But in the WAN 2.2 examples, some of them, like this one, don't work as cleanly. At the 5 second mark, you can see some choppiness in the frames after I extend the video. And at the 10 second mark, there's a little choppiness too. Some images just don't extend well. But others, like this one, do pretty well in WAN 2.2. This video example was generated in WAN 2.2, and as you can see, the transformations here really use the creativity of WAN 2.2. Prompt adherence is a big advantage here, based on the prompt descriptions I used. When I used the WAN 2.2 generator, you can see it clearly transformed the character into a demon. But one thing you'll notice is that the colors keep shifting. At the 5 second mark, the color looks normal. But by the 10 second mark, it starts degrading. The color temperature gets whiter, and it just doesn't look natural compared to the beginning. So after a day of testing and seeing these results, I'd say the one video vase in 2.1 gives better results for long-length video generation, especially in motion consistent and fame stitching. It's definitely better than what I'm getting with one 2.2. And sometimes, like you can see here in WAN 2.2, there are color shifts and choppiness, some rough stitching. Even in this part, WAN 2.2 can't create a clean stitch, especially around the 5 second mark and the 10 second mark. Even though both AI models use travel prompts and can handle multiple prompt lines for looped sampling, WAN 2.1 still produces more natural looking video results in my tests. But for WAN 2.2's first last frame video method, so far, as long as it stays under 15 seconds, it works. Yeah, you can use it, but there's a risk. The video might not stitch well, and you'll likely see degradation after 15 seconds. So, I'd suggest not going over 15 seconds with WAN 2.2's image to video model. That's just how it works right now. Hopefully, the WAN 2.2 vase will be released soon and they should have to fix the color issues between video extensions and give us better stitching, especially with the control video and control mask features from the WAN video vase. Those are super helpful when creating frame-by-frame -frame long video extensions. That's how I've been able to generate videos over 30 seconds with no problem, using image-to-video or video-to-video. -video. That's what the WAN 2.1 vase allowed me to do. So yeah, this should answer some of the questions people have been asking, like, can we run WAN 2.2 for long length video gen or use it with a WAN 2.1 vase? Right now, I'd say just wait for the official WAN AI team to release the real WAN 2.2 vase model. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.